D24. O beloved Mother, you who know so well the ways of holiness and love, teach us to raise our minds and hearts up into the Trinity and to fix thereon our respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims your charity is willing to shelter. Turn your merciful gaze towards us. Draw us into your brilliance. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into the light and into love. Lead us us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. Let each man take us further into the depths of the abyss mystery, until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine union, will see all things in eternal life. my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my words. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, for He is our God. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? Who we'll send forth your light and your truth, let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the heart, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. Your opponent prowls around like a roaring lion. Resist him firm in your faith. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. For in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge. Till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May He send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send His truth and His love. My soul lies down among lions, who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul. Awake, light and heart. I will awake the dark. 
I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. To God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Your opponent prowls around like a roaring lion. Resist him firm in your feet. My soul magnifies the Lord. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurity. And from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you. Taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statue. Careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Seek the city that God has prepared. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. On Zion, true pole of the earth, the great King city. God in the midst of its citadels has shown himself his stronghold. Were the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded, dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there. Like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed 
the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your law within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled, Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk through Zion, walk all round it, Count the number of its towers. Review all its ramparts. Examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God. Our God forever and always. It is he who leads us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and to this to come, now and forever. Amen. Who we seek the city that God has prepared. book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, the heavens are my throne and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house can you build for me? What is to be my resting place? My hand made all these things when all of them came to be, says the Lord. This is the one whom I approve the lowly and afflicted man who trembles at my word. Mode one. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophet, 
prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Gwimi gimi nistra me sequat hud et ubi ego sum et minister me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on our earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. All-powerful and ever-living God, shine with the light of your radiance on a people who live in the shadow of death. Let the dawn from on high break upon us, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us and also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of the word, eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and of all truth, O beloved disciple of the word made flesh, who at the last supper rested your head upon his heart's heart, Drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus become the witness of his wounded heart. We beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, and our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light. And by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agathos, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit of Mary, and Mary, 
mother of Jesus, and our mother.